Hello and welcome to Akeen. In this video you will learn how to create and expand on your search index. In the process you will learn a little more about the range of Lakeen's functionality. The first thing you should do after installing Lakeen is set up your first index because only index locations will be searched. In order to do that, open Lakeen. In the menu bar, click on Options. The first tab, which is open by default, is called Index. Here you pick what data sources Lakeen should index and search. By default, Lakeen will display all the hard drives on your PC. Your Outlook archives and public folders will be shown if Lakeen has discovered them during the installation process. Usually the first entry, with the little Outlook icon named after your email address, is your primary Outlook archive. If you tick the checkbox next to the entry, Lakeen will build up an index for this archive. That means you can search for any keyword within your mailboxes, calendar, contacts, tasks, as well as your notes and folders. In short, your whole Outlook archive. Lukin can also search public folders in Outlook. For example, your team might have a shared inbox for customer requests, which each team member can access and work with. Tick the box to index those shared folders. The entries with a small photo icon next to them are the drives your PC is connected to. The locations to be searched should be picked more carefully here, meaning don't just index the entire drive. The more files you select, the longer the initial buildup of the index will take. So click on a small plus sign and make sure to only pick folders which contain files that are of interest to you. In particular, don't index any Windows system files. Proceed the same way with the rest of your local and network drives. When you're done, click OK. Lukeen will ask you if you want to start indexing now. If that is not the case, you can start indexing later at any time. To do that, click on Index in the menu bar and click Start. In newer Windows versions, a notification will appear in the lower right corner to confirm that your indexing process has begun. You can also check whether the indexing process is running by clicking on the system tray. If the Lukeen icon is blue and shows two arrows arranged in a circle, then Lukeen is currently indexing. And in Lukeen itself, in the bottom right corner, you can see a blue underlined number. It shows how many elements have been newly added to the index. Left of that number, you can also see which file is currently being indexed. You can stop the indexing process anytime without losing any progress. Click on Index in the menu bar and click the button with the red square that says Stop. If you hit Pause instead, indexing will be interrupted for an hour and automatically resume afterwards. If you build a new index, the old index will be cleared and indexing will start again from scratch. How long the first build of your index takes depends on many factors, especially the number of files to index and the processing speed of your computer. Indexing runs in the background and uses only little resources, so you can continue working without worrying about it. Now Lukeen is all ready to search Outlook in each of your selected drives. The first index may be complete, but what do you do if you connect a new external drive or load a new Outlook archive and want to add that to your index at a later point? How do you add shared indexes and Lukeen servers to your local index? First, let's pretend, for example, Lukeen didn't show my Exonic Net archive or Drive H. There. So if you're missing an Outlook archive from the list, just click on Add Store. And then double click on Discover New Outlook Archives. Click Yes, and as you can see, the archive appears on top of the list and is already added to the locations to be indexed. And if you're missing a drive from your list, hit Add Store again and double click on Discover New File System Drives. Click Yes and it is already marked to be indexed as well. And like before, you should customize which parts of the drive are supposed to be included in your index. The automatic detection of file system drives in Outlook Archive should be sufficient in most cases, but some special search locations need to be added manually. For example, you might want to add a shared folder in a network attached storage. To do that, go to Add Store again and double click on File System Archive. Here you will be prompted to either browse through your folder structure to find the desired location or enter the path of the drive you want to add. And of course, you can also add Outlook Archives manually. Click Microsoft Outlook Archive and navigate to the archive you want to add. The last two options of the Add Store menu are the more advanced functions. 
The shared index is especially useful if many different PCs are supposed to search the same server or network on which the data is rarely changed. For example, in an insurance company, you could create a shared index for the network drive where all the customer information is stored, which then can be accessed by every team member of the sales department. Shared indexes can be used by many PCs simultaneously without each PC requiring to build their own index. This greatly reduces network volume and speeds up the overall indexing process by avoiding redundant operations. With this option, you specify the location of the shared index, much like adding a file system drive, which will then be taken into account by your local index. Unlike adding stores or archives, shared indexes can only be added while Lukin is not indexing any files. Lukin's server is for users who have outsourced the build-up and maintenance of their index to a Lukin server. Here you can enter the URL to the server you are using, enter your credentials and check if your settings are correct. Then you will be allowed to access the Lukin server. You now know everything there is to know about how to set up and expand your Lukin index. If this video helped you set up your index, please encourage us to make more how-to videos by giving this one a thumbs up. If you still have questions, you can check out our user manual or the frequently asked questions section on the Lukeen homepage or fill out the support form. The links are in the description below. Or ask your questions in the comment section of this video. We'd love to help you with any of your problems. Thank you for watching this how to set up your first search index video. 